It's gonna be a bloodbath. This is fun. It's a nice forest. Definitely picked up a lot more sign up through this area bordering this swamp. It's been a lot of scrapes, some fresh ones. Definitely see some old browse through there. Yeah, that's mud, bro. Thank God for the land bridge. This whole valley got flooded out by these beavers. Look at that. It just pruned. Browse down to a nub. Yeah, they just keep them perfectly healthy. Nice ground feed. That's a bit naughty coming through there. What a bounty. Holy jeez, they're good. Yeah, they're good. Oh, just that salty heaven. Oh. Well, isn't that something? Isn't that something? Feed of fresh raw oysters. We got some bear ham pea soup. So good, make you want to slap your mom. Well, guys, it's day two, and uh, Kev's decided to drag me into the highest country going on this island. Yesterday, we walked through turns and beaver dams and rivers. Today, I expect will be similar. Kind of well, we're gonna kill a deer today. It's gonna be a bloodbath. Let's here. go. It's gonna be a bloodbath. You seem a little sick, like you're coming down with something. You get the black tail fever. So you, so you are sick. All right, let's get this hunt okay. underway. There's let's deer go. Deer that are not gonna. This kill is themselves. embarrassing. This is freaking embarrassing. These that. deer aren't gonna kill themselves. No. Let's go. We're probably not killing them either, but let's go anyway. A walk, walking with. Uh, Bows, that's the new name. Hiking with bows. And Hiking firearms. with bows. Hiking with bows. Sickness. Sorry, faithful 1300 viewers. <laughs> this, uh, there's not 1300. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell.
for don't, your notifications. Don't bother. <laughs> don't even bother. Don't don't do it. You haven't done it yet. Why would you do it now? Do you want to let your viewers know like particulars or do you want them to grind it out and friggin' find out for themselves? I want to tell them. Okay. The so, deer are digging in the moss in the old growth. I don't know what they're finding down there, but whatever it is, that's they love it. one of their main forages. That, that, Winter that, time anyway. Yeah, they're definitely hammering it. I do There's that. There's a strong possibility that my wife is smarter than me, but I'll never let her know. Yeah. Well, now she knows. Okay, let's go get a deer. Yeah, well we just finished having lunch here up at the top. We're gonna work our way back down. It seemed like in the lower areas there was quite a bit more sign, so this was more of a come to the summit to say we done it. Now yeah. we're back into the hunt. So I've developed a, a theory around a question. What are the deer digging for in that moss? They're digging for it not under snow cover. No. Nope. Because there's fresh stuff fresh, within an hour. Yeah. And they're digging in isolated spots. I think they're digging for recreational drugs because it can't be a primary forage. It's just not enough to sustain right. them. So they're so finding shrooms or something in right. the moss. They're sniffing it out. Good timers. They're digging it up. Okay. I'd like to know what your viewers think. Probably yeah. some of them know what they're after, right? Yeah, but probably. They're after something, and they're finding you, it, it hey, they're sniffing it out. If you know, leave us a comment. Leave us a comment below. Yeah. Hit that sub button. Hit that notification sub button. Bell. Just smash that, baby. <laughs> Just. I do. Good. So he was standing right here and I cracked him and he went straight over. Here, you want my headlamp? Look for blood? Yeah, please. Just a second here. He could have been anywhere right here. Looks like he kicked off right there. Yeah, th this is all tore up. He was hit good. We just spent probably an hour and a half grid searching. We found uh, two of the three fletchings. One was full of rich lung blood, bubbles everywhere. 
Then we, uh, the other one was just rich blood. It looked like heart blood until I got the second one and then it was all bubbles. There wasn't a bubble in the first fletching, but really rich blood, really deep body heart blood. And, uh, and then we had a good, one good chunk of, uh, lung blood on one leaf. And then I don't know if he's bleeding out in his cavity, but, uh, we're gonna let it rest for the night and get back here for first light and grid search until we find them. Okay guys, well, it's on. It's We're on gonna... like Donkey Kong. Yeah. It's, uh, it looks lighter than it actually is here, but it's just perfect timing to get in there and start searching for this guy. So I just came up here and I spooked him. He was only like right here, like, five yards away and then right up on this bank there he was running he was going to top over and I mark, stopped him right there and that is only 25 yards away that's actually lung blood and even the bubbles are dried into it on that salal leaf so he definitely came down through here and I found my fletching, one of them beside the front of this hemlock or this fir, and then one on the other side. So it's so definitely where he came down through. This is just some really broken ground. We climbed all around these cliffs here last night in our head laps. Trying to check every nook and cranny. He's just, it's so broken, he's just going to be in some little hole. We just have to, to keep gridding, keep gridding. I really, really want to find this guy. It starts to make you nervous. The leaky seat is right there. Yes. It's about, it's just, it's in this drainage, just at the next rocky cliffy area. So I'm gonna go another 60 yards and start feathering my way back up. Yeah, and I'm gonna walk across through this rocky drain, this knobby ground right up here. Yeah. And uh, and then once we meet up over here, we'll go and we'll take the next layer out and we'll just work our way back up. Well, someone marked this spot. Probably tracking a deer. Looks like from a couple years ago with the moss that's retaken on it there. That's cool. Super bad news. We have grounded out here for the last couple hours and unfortunately we couldn't recover the deer I hit. We're pretty confident that the shot was good. I know I was and uh, we got the fletchings to prove it. But we couldn't get on a blood trail. Sprayed peroxide, doubled back in through every little nook and like the rocks right behind us here everything like that every little blow down every little burrow he could have went into the we cliff we cliff climbed to find any little ledge he could have hung up on but unfortunately this is going to end in a sad way we got a boat to catch yeah we do have a boat to catch uh, we do have to work tomorrow so if we miss this boat uh, we will be sleeping somewhere on the sunshine coast again so we got to get going thanks for watching uh, sorry uh, I'm sorry to the dear gods and uh, sorry to you guys that we couldn't uh, bring it all together we had a fantastic hunt learned a lot about this country and uh, we'll be back <laughs>